All right, welcome back in everyone. So I am back in the testing facility and next to all these wonderful additional or alternative stairs and we've got a new one. So patch 0.7.1, 0710, yeah. Uh, came out with a new item, this jobby right here, the small sideboard crypt. And I'm going to show you today how you can make stair treads out of it. By the way, this is uh, what, fancy stone? Fancy stone. Looks like wood sometimes. It's kind of cool. It's that stuff right there. So, uh, the, there's a bit of a problem with this stair, with this as a stair tread. I'm going to show you. So, if I place this right here, and this is my never-ending stair tread, because for some reason some of the items in 071 auto-duplicate themselves, you'll notice how high it is. So, I can walk up this, I can walk up this, I cannot walk through this. So the problem we have is once we get it here, we have to do another. So I've already added an extra layer of stone beneath this to help us out. And let's get to this right now. So this also, because it mounts to floor instead of the wall, it's much harder to get kind of like a perfect spot for it. So the best I've found, if you look where the bottom of the shelf on the back end towards the stair starts to disappear. I'm going to pull it back. I'm going to go to the right until the, if you look at the top right, that little thing starts, uh, the square starts disappearing into there. So I'm kind of do like about right there. So it has eclipsed the tread itself a little bit, but the shelf doesn't really eclipse it. Now, to get higher up, you can't actually do it this way like you do with all the others. You have to go up on here because the little white circle is in our way. The best that I have found to set these, because I can no longer see where I'm setting this because of the camera angle, put the closest front right uh, tread, the one that my white dot is over, sorry, not tread, the, the column, the post, over the front left post and center it so the square over the square and I'm gonna center that as best I can like that and we're just gonna do that all the way up so once again I'm centering the column over the other column to get it as close as I can Now here's the other problem with this. I can only go this high. So you will notice I am short one section because if I go one higher, it oh, just might as well just show you. If I go one higher, it's awful. It looks terrible and I wouldn't want to have that in mind. So it looks great coming this way, but you go this way and you got this big lip and I just, I don't like it. So the way I have found to fix this that works the best is unlike these where, where this would be your floor, on this type, your floor would be, um, you would add, sorry, brain. You would add this. And I think that's a very reasonable solution. So it allows you to, to get up there. You have this just tiny little lip. I mean, these have a tiny lip too. So it's similar enough. You just have to bring it out one. The other option is to set this whole staircase one further back uh, and do the very bottom one buried like I'm going to show you here in a second. So the way you have to do the bottom, because again, I can't get up this right now. We're going to take the number one of the one meter. So I'm on the top section and I'm on the number one. I'm going to chunk out four pieces here in the middle. Don't use this because you go down too far. So one, two, three, and four. So now I have a one layer down that will allow me to take my forever sideboard. And same thing. Now we're going to look at the top left the furthest left from me and the closest left of the one that's already in there. And once again, I'm going to center it best I can. 
like that. Put my hammer back in. Hit Y four times. So now I have the tread that I can actually walk up on. I have the tread I can walk down on. And I think it looks great. So now what I can do is I can remove these stairs. Because this is another one of them similar to the stone bench over here that I think looks really fantastic as a standalone. I don't think it needs the supports that the regular shelving do. So all of these here look pretty weird if you don't have the stair support right here at the edge. They look fine as a an open staircase, but they don't look good like this does. And, and that's the same for this one as well. It gives you a really cool pattern on this side. And by centering the column of the edge of this thing over itself, it works perfect. I mean, it really, really works. And if I look up this, to my mind's eye, that's a pretty straight line. So it keeps you from wandering kind of like how these wander the the open or the the narrow staircase. Now I'm I am working on trying to figure out how to do this as a spiral, but man it's hard. Uh, it's yeah. It, it is not as easy on this as it is on these guys to do a spiral. Uh, I have seen one picture of someone who was able to do the spiral and it was a little jank. So as soon as I can figure out a really good way to do this just like this where I'm like okay you just center this on this and just continue up as far as you need and you go down one block and add one up here and you're fine once I figure all that out I'll have it for you but that is how you can get this and this is called small crypt sideboard it is actually I will go over there right now and show you how to get to it I have them here in my base so for those who are not aware, there is a new NPC in this patch, and I think his name's Alden, but he's called the Collector. He's right here, and you get him in the first of the Hollow Hall dungeons, um, Collector. And this is, do do do, is it cupboards? Yes. Right here, small crypt sideboard. So you, this is the items that you need, and it's under decorative doesn't give you any kind of comfort like these do oh yeah but it gives you now this one here is way way too big and then these things sticking up would prevent you from walking up pretty easily but here's how you get it this guy is available in this this one right here so this hollow halls were in Springlands that's where you get him this is the guy you talk to this is where you built it all right, thanks for watching, everyone.